Welcome back everyone to complete DSA placement series with C++. In the last lecture we saw about selection sort and now let us look at more optimized solution that is insertion sort in this particular lecture. Okay, so insertion sort is somewhat opposite to selection sort. What we did in selection sort is we chose an index and then we selected a particular element that would fit into that particular index. Now what we are doing in insertion sort is we will choose or we will get an element and we will select or insert it into an appropriate index or we will select an index for that element an appropriate index and then we will insert that element into that particular index so yes uh, let us take an example okay let us learn the insertion sort by an example so suppose we have 5 15 3 4 1 and let us say 10 so this is our array. Now what we will do is we will assume that one part, okay, left part of the array is sorted and right part is not sorted. So over here this part is sorted, array of single element is always sorted, okay. So this part is sorted. Now what we need to do is we come to this number, okay. So we have 15 over here. Now we will see where to insert 15 okay you can say that array array is of two elements array is of two elements where this part is sorted and we need to insert 15 so where can we insert 15 15 can be inserted at second position or we can say first index okay so we have 5 and 15 as it is now we come up to 3 okay so when we come to 3, you see uh, this in first iteration, in first iteration, we did nothing. Now we come to 3. So 3, in, it is in our second iteration, okay. In the second iteration, we look at this part of the array and this part is already sorted, okay. So now we we will compare 3 with 15 is 15 greater than 3 yes it is greater than 3 okay so first of all we'll store 3 in some key and then we will check if 15 is greater than 3 or not yes it is greater than 3 and thus we will move 15 a step forward okay so in second iteration in second iteration we will move 15 over here will move 15 forward 4 1 and 10 as we aren't swapping the value of 15 we are only moving the 15 forward this will also remain equal to 15 okay so now we will check 5 is 5 is 5 greater than 3 yes it is greater than 3 as it is greater than 3 we will move 5 forward okay we'll move a move our 5 1 step forward over here and then and then as you can see that we don't have anything left okay we don't have anything left over here so this is the right position where which belongs okay which first belonged to 5 and now it belongs to 3 okay and at this position we will rub our 5 okay we'll erase our 5 and replace it with 3 or we'll overwrite the value at this 0th index with 3. So yes you can see that this part of the array is already sorted now it's the turn for 4. So in the third iteration in third iteration what we will do is we will check we will check is 15 greater than 4 yes it is so it will be it will be 3 5 15 and 15 1 and 0 our key will be equal to 4 okay so we will store our 4 this value in a separate key now uh, we have checked 
up with 15 now let us check with 5 is 5 greater than 4 yes it is greater than 4 so it will move a step forward okay so here we will have 3 5 5 and 15 1 and 10 now we will check is 3 greater than 4 no it is not as 3 is not greater than 4 we will stop over here itself we will not move backward okay over here we are moving backward we aren't moving forward in there we are moving backward so we'll not move backward and at last we will override the value of 5 to 4 so it will be 3 4 5 15 1 and 10 yippee very good now we have come to our fourth iteration in our fourth iteration we will check with 1 okay is 15 greater than 1 yes it is so 15 will come over here is 5 greater than 1 yes it is so 5 will come over here is 4 greater than uh, uh, 1 yes it is so it will come over here is 3 greater than 1 yes it is so it will come over here and at last we will have this order 1 3 4 5 15 okay 1 3 4 5 15 and 10 so yes we have come to fourth iteration now let us have the last iteration that is fifth iteration after fifth iteration all the things will be sorted okay so now it's the turn for 10 so is 15 greater than 10 yes it is so it will come over here is 5 greater than 10 no it is not and thus 10 will be inserted at 15th place so we'll have 1 3 4 5 10 and 15 we don't need to check in the last iteration as this value will already be in its particular place or in its right place so if n minus 1 elements are in their right place then nth element is always going to be in its right place okay so this is uh, oh, this is the logic behind uh, n minus 1 iterations only okay so this was the insertion sort this is the rough algorithm of insertion sort what we are doing is we are getting an element then we are selecting we are finding out an appropriate index for that particular element and inserting that element into that appropriate index now now let us say let us analyze this algorithm okay so when we do our analysis we get our time complexity as big o of n square so is this better or is selection sort better or is bubble sort better see bubble sort this insertion sort is much better than bubble sort but hey we are actually shifting the elements over here right we are shifting the elements more than one times in each iteration yes we are shifting the elements but shifting operation here to me very carefully shifting operation takes one third of processing time that is taken by uh, by the swap operation okay so yes it has lower overhead cost okay and thus it is yes it is better than bubble sort now we will see what if the array is already sorted okay so we have one two three four and five over here so you see if array is already sorted if two okay if we have two over here and if one is less than two will I, i'll stop right over here i'll not move forward now over here also i will stop right over here i'll not move forward okay so you see it is it is partial it is linear okay it is linear for sorted array and thus it is an adaptive algorithm it is adaptive algorithm okay so if we have if i have a partially sorted array if i have a partially sorted array then it is almost linear okay roughly one two shifts and we will be done okay so in partially sorted array it is not linear it is not exactly linear but almost linear and thus this algorithm is an adaptive algorithm now 
we will find out if it is stable. Is insertion sort stable? Yes, it is because we are moving element by element. So if we have one six at first position and one six at last position, then that one six will be considered first. Six at first position will be considered first. So it is a stable algorithm. Okay, it is a stable algorithm. And of course, the space complexity will be big O of 1. Okay, so the time complexity is big O of n square average and average worst and best cases. We have space complexity as big O of 1. Actually, in best case, we have a big O of n around big O of 1, n time complexity. Then in the space complexity is big O of 1. It is a stable as well as adaptive algorithm. So let us move to Visual Studio Code and write our solution for insertion sort. So over here, I'll just move to my visual studio screen so yes this is my screen and we have we already have a print array function and our array over here so let us write insertion sort in arr and in n now we will run a for loop so, so for int i equal to for int i equal to 1 we'll assume that the array is already sorted for first element. So for int i equal to 1, i less than n. Okay, i less than n and i plus plus. And now over here, first of all, we'll write int key, int key equal to arr i. Okay, int key will be equal to arr i and we'll have an integer j which will be equal to i. Now we will run a while loop. Okay, so while j, okay, arr of j minus 1, arr of j minus 1 is greater than key. Okay, while it is greater than key, we are checking the previous element. Okay, we are checking the previous element. While arr j minus 1 is greater than key and j is greater than or equal to 1 j should be greater than or equal to 1 otherwise index will go out of bounds so while this both of these conditions are true what we will do we will shift our uh, j okay we will shift element at j one step forward so arr j will be equal to whoops sorry arr j will be equal to arr j minus 1 okay we are shifting it one step forward and then we will decrease the value of j okay so we after shifting all the elements we will finally find the appropriate index for our key and the appropriate index will be equal to j so arr j now will be equal to key and this is our insertion short algorithm we have already called our insertion sort algorithm over here. So yes, we only need to run our code and see if it works well. Okay, so I have run the code and yes, this is our output. So first, this was the unsorted array and we have got our sorted array. So this was about insertion sort which is having the best and average case sorry the worst and average case time complexity as big o of n square the best case time complexity as big o of n so yes this is an adaptive algorithm as well as it is a stable algorithm talking about space complexity it takes a constant space so okay, space complexity is big o of one and thus it is a much better algorithm than the bubble sort algorithm yes it is also somewhat better than selection sort as it is adaptive as well as stable so yes that's it for insertion sort lecture and in the next lecture we will see an extension of insertion sort that is shell sort till then keep learning and keep growing thank you everyone